back to the air effect. My name is Christina, if you are new, and I run this channel because I like old books, I like vintage clothing, and I want to live a practical vintage lifestyle. So it is day uh, four of my personal Vlogmas. I think it's officially day five. I don't know what date it is. I can't find my phone. I can't check. I lied, my phone's right here. So it is day four of a very vintage Vlogmas. I am doing Vlogmas, but I'm doing it only on the weekdays because I have four kids. I don't have time, I don't have enough resources and, and I just I just don't have time to do it every single day, but I want to try to put out either a video, a short, a very short video every weekday from now until Christmas. And today I'm going to show you all of my hats. Now, I don't know if you can really see how many hats I have hanging on the wall over here, but I have a lot. I don't actually know. I will be counting them as I make this video. <laughs> and this is not all of the hats. Um, I also have an entire bin full of berets and I have more hats in my closet that didn't fit on the wall. So this is going to be a simple video. <laughs> I just threw that onto the bed. This is going to be a simple video. I am just going to set up a space and I am going to try on every single hat that I own minus the beret. And we're gonna count how many hats I have. We're gonna see how to wear them. We're gonna see which ones that I maybe need to get rid of because I've never worn them. And it's gonna be fun. I find joy in having collections. And this is one of the collections that I've had for the longest. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy it. Let's get into day four of a very vintage Vlogmas with a hat collection. All right, friends, so settle in, grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you prefer to drink because this is going to be some long footage. I have to admit, I probably could have cut a lot of these shots shorter, but by the time I got to being done, even clipping all of my hats into place, I was so tired of editing and it is late night on thursday and i just i want to get this out bright and early tomorrow morning because i'm so excited to share all of my hats with everyone the hats is probably the vintage collection that i have had the longest the very last hat that i show or maybe the second to last is a hat that i have had for over 10 years it's one of the first vintage hats i ever thrifted um, and i still have it because nostalgia mostly but I thought I would sit and answer some questions while we look at pretty hats because I get a lot of questions about hats, even though I'm not, I'm not a regular hat wearer, which is kind of a crime. Looking through all of this footage, I just thought to myself, why don't I wear these hats more often? They all look amazing and the hat styles that I thought wouldn't suit me, I actually really like. So I'm going to go through some questions that I got and... The first thing I want to note is that up above you will see I have listed the era, I have listed what the hat is called and where I got it. I don't 100% remember where I got every single hat to be honest and I am not an expert. There are some hats that I had to do a lot of research to figure out maybe the name of them. Like that last one, it was called a bumper hat. This is something I didn't know. Um, I thought that it would be called something like a halo, even though I know a halo is like the one you saw with the berries, where it kind of frames the face. That is a halo hat. It kind of looks like a little halo behind your head. But the vintage bumper hats, I didn't know what they were called, and now it makes so much sense. They are like little bumpers around your head, which I find hilarious. The one other thing I'm not 100% sure about, and I have to be honest with it, is the cask. It seems to apply to most hats that look like the style, where they're kind of headband-ish. Um, they are also called helmet hats, and I think it maybe depends on the era. Uh, and, and the last thing I will note is that while I'm fairly sure I'm right with most of this dating stuff, there are a few hats that I thrifted that I'm not 100% sure. Most of them I got off of eBay, Etsy, antique stores, stuff like that. So I kind of know the eras, but some of them, I don't know. So let's get into the questions. First of all, I have been asked, where do you get your hats? 
Uh, and as you can see, I have been putting where I get each and every hat up above. I will say the thing that I do the most because I like to get the most bang for my buck. I search eBay a lot. I search uh, vintage women's hat lot on eBay and I just scroll through every single search result looking for good deals, looking for hats that I really, really love. I look for vintage hat lots. I don't buy a lot of individual hats. So most of the hats that you see labeled like eBay and Poshmark, I got them in a lot. If I got it in an antique store, I probably bought it solo, but that's pretty much the only time I buy solo hats is at antique stores. The second question I get a lot is how do you find the courage to wear hats? Um, and I will say it's something I'm still working on. I still get very self-conscious wearing hats in public because nobody wears hats like this ever around me. But one thing that has really helped is dressing the part, making sure that my hat feels like a cohesive part of my outfit. Um, fun fact, the one you're seeing right now is uh, one of the hats I've had the longest. I found it in an antique shop when I first got into vintage and I love it. And also doing my hair and makeup. It's amazing what a vintage set or even just curling my hair and doing my makeup does for the way I feel about wearing a hat. If I didn't have my hair done, I wouldn't like any of these on me, but since I have my hair done, I love them. One other really good question I have gotten about hats is how much do you usually pay for a hat? Um, I generally try to make sure my hats are about $10. If I'm buying a lot, I don't want to pay more than $10 per hat. Often it'll be more like $6 or $7. And honestly, I have paid up to $50 for a hat, but it just has to be the right hat. So it really depends. I do like a good deal. I like to thrift things. Uh, I don't have a lot of thrifted hats, but I like a good thrifty deal and when I'm shopping on eBay, I have to account for the shipping costs because that can often tack on a whole lot. There are some hat lots where I'm utterly in love with the hats, but the shipping cost to ship them just brings it to be too much for me, so I have to let them go. My general price point for hats, if I am looking on eBay, I want them to be under $10 per hat in a lot. If I'm at an antique store, I would say 10 to $12. If it's like a dream hat of mine, I will pay anywhere from zero to 50. Uh, but I don't own any hats that are more expensive than that because I have, I like to wear them. I don't want to feel like I can't wear them. So, um, yeah, those are the questions that I get the most about hats. Side note again, this hat you're seeing is one of my absolute favorites. I found it in an antique store. It is so stunning. It is such a show shopper hat. I love it. Oh, another question that I have gotten a lot is how do I store my hats? So if you have been around for a while, of course, if you saw the intro, you will have seen that I put a lot of my hats on the walls. So I have gotten asked a lot how I do that. What do I use to hang my hats? Do I use hooks? How do I save my walls from damage? Honestly, uh, I use push pins. I use clear push pins. Um, and that is how all of my hats are held up. And I, whenever we move, I fill in all the holes with putty, which push pins don't really make big holes, so it's not a huge deal. But that is how I store them. I do have a few hats that kind of need a hook, so I've got picture hangers, which help keep the more, uh, the harder to hang hats do well with picture hangers and then if i don't want them on the walls i have several very big traveling hat boxes that i have thrifted over the years and um you will have seen one of those in the intro so i keep hats in that <laughs> So 
Something else that people have asked me about hats is, do I have to dust them all when they're up on the wall? And honestly, no, I have never had to dust my hats and I'm not sure why that is because I don't wear them like super, super often, but they never get dusty. Uh, and again, side note about the hat you're seeing, this is my most expensive hat. I paid $50 for it because I really wanted a red sun hat and I loved the flowers which are attached. I will say sometimes I get cobwebs up in the corners around the hats, but the hats themselves have stayed pretty clean. I never take them down and notice they're super dusty. None of these hats were dusty when I took them off the walls. So I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's just a climate thing. I don't think that Washington, where we live, is very dusty. We live close to a lot of water, so it's more damp than anything. Um, and I've never had to deal with needing to heavily clean a hat or anything like that. But I think that is all the questions that I've gotten asked the most. I hope that you are enjoying this. I honestly had so much fun trying all of these on and making this video has convinced me I need to wear hats way more often than I do because I I just love them. I think they're so beautiful and they're such a unique accessory and I have so many and they, they just need to see the light of day. You will probably be seeing a lot more hats here on this channel because I have a lot that need to be worn and they are one of the most fun accessories. was my wedding veil which I thrifted for eight dollars and this is the oldest hat that I own or the hat that I've owned the longest and then a few little random ones and that's it enjoyed this be sure to stick around if you would like to see more of a very vintage vlogmas i hope that you enjoyed this video i would love to have you stick around don't forget if you would like to support my channel in more ways than just liking and subscribing and commenting which are all very valid and wonderful ways of support you can also check out my merch store which is linked under all of my videos below or my ko-fi link which is where you can tip me for the work that i do here on the channel the last thing that i want to say because i got this comment a lot on my uh my like intro to vlogmas video was that so many of you are so kind and saying that it's okay if i don't do every day that i hope to do and i didn't realize that i came across as like maybe i feel obligated to provide this content for you i really don't i just love making videos and i desperately want to make all of these videos and it brings me so much joy to make them so i know that you are all here for whatever i put out and i really appreciate that but I just want to make it clear that like I am having so much fun. I love doing this. I'm so appreciative of all of you for supporting me. Appreciate my husband for helping me have the time to do this um, and pre-record a lot of this because I record it on the weekends while he's home. I just, I just had to say that. I didn't want to come across like I was complaining that I have to do all of these videos because that is not the case. I love making videos. I find it so fun. I love the entire process and I especially love the community that YouTube has become with all of you around me and I just wanted to make that clear. So anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved and until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye! Oh no, there's pins in this one. It's stuck on my head. What is happening? Do it. Wow. Ah!
so many hats. Why do I have so many hats? Thank you.